Welcome Trainers Watts here. If you don't like drama, please don't watch this video. This is going to be entirely different from what I usually do, and I'm sorry in advance for making this, but this is going to be about Verlicify and some of the allegations he has made that need to be contested. So now for the purpose of this video, I'm going to define use of hacked Pokemon that have only legitimately obtainable attributes as soft cheating, and define any form of unfair battle advantage as cheating. As everybody knows, Verlicify is a Poketuber who really enjoys calling out VGC competitors for soft cheating. But he does this aggressively, without legitimate proof, and without any disclaimer on his videos telling his fans not to attack these people. That happens a lot, and there's no possible way that he couldn't be aware of his fans doing this. Now first, I'm going to go through some of his most recent videos and analyze some of his points. Then I'm going to show why Realistify has to include a disclaimer on his videos that do this. Puddles VGC! He needs to be banned on the spot! I can maybe do it if I get my hands around a computer sometime. He's hacking, and if he gets a hold of a laptop and can transfer over the files and make a save copy, boom! That's a hacker right there! We found him! Same with Vavi, or Vovi, or whatever it is. I can help with this. Get these guys banned! These guys should be struck down immediately! So let me get this straight, these people should be banned immediately because they agreed to send save data to another person on Twitter? Do, do people actually listen to this guy? Marcus had a Gastrodon, he brought the wrong Gastrodon. Now, my experience with making teams is that I have one Pokemon for each because it takes a while to breed, it takes a while to build up these teams, and I don't have multiples of the same Pokemon for different sets and stuff, but this guy does. So it's likely that he has a lot of different Gastrodons that he's been genning or receiving in this kind of way to where he could accidentally pick the wrong one and then enter that with a tournament even though his sheet says something else. So your conclusion is that a top level VGC player who has multiple Pokemon with differences has to be a hacker because he has multiple Pokemon with differences? Okay, buddy. Known as Team Views. Again, another jab at me, because I just make all these videos for views and drama and stuff like that. So instead of being mature about it, they decide to turn their Hatch Battle League into a joke against me that actually proves the illegal Pokemon that are in the community, and we So these players joke about you, by calling you out with their team names, and that confirms all the hacking in the community? There are actually people in this world who listen to this and say, Yeah, he's right. The entire community hacks confirmed. EXPOSE, DUDE! <laughs> Just let that sink in. So we have a couple of people right here. Bill is saying, you know, make sure you know the most important illegal moves and abilities. Call a judge once you find an opponent using them because it's anticipated. It's anticipated that cheating is going to be that rampant that you should memorize what the illegal moves are. That way you can pin someone for cheating. You should memorize illegal moves so you don't get cheated ever. Not because hard cheating is rampant. It's so obvious that you don't actually know anything about the VGC community, that you haven't been involved in the VGC community at all. The VGC community is one of the nicest esports communities I've ever had the pleasure of joining, and I've been in so many different esports communities. It is so rare to see hard cheating in this game, and you would know that if you actually were involved in the community. The facts have it. That's an illegal Pokemon right there, and even though he said some things like, you know, sorry, probably going to drop, I've lost all faith, Georgia Regionals will be on last event, only time will tell if this is how it goes out. Like, if he really quits after Georgia, then maybe he didn't want to use an illegal Pokemon, but if it meant this much to him, like, the, this seems like an overreaction. This almost seems like a defense, because, you know, uh, I'll be on stream, so four hours, an hour later, people started noticing, and that's when it started blowing up on Twitter. So he was on stream, then people started noticing it, then an hour later, he started apologizing, and then he said Regionals was going to be his last event. It's kind of like this blew up enough to where he might have realized that this would be a problem and I would probably cover it because I, this is what I was waiting for. I even did the preemptive video waiting for something like this. So it seems like it was a little too spaced out and then it seemed like a really big jump out of nowhere to I quit, I'm closing my Twitter, I'm, I'm locking everything down over just an illegal ball Pokemon. Quote, this seems like an overreaction. It almost seems like a defense. Unquote. Are you serious, Verilisify? This guy was devastated that he had a soft cheated Pokemon at the event and that he was getting so much hate from your fans. How can you even say that? Verlicify, if you're watching this, you must put a disclaimer on your videos. Tell your fans not to attack or witch hunt the people you mention in your videos. When your fans are giving out death threats, relentlessly attacking, or being racist, you have to lead them. You have to tell them to stop.
This is a call out. Please, if you agree, share this video, like it, tweet it at Verlicify. Do anything you can to get this video watched by Verlicify and responded to. He needs to put a disclaimer so people don't be racist towards other people in the community or give death threats or whatever Verlicify incentivizes his fans to do. Even if he doesn't explicitly tell them to do those things, those things are happening. So he must put his foot down and tell them to stop. He needs a disclaimer. He needs something to tell his fans, to lead his fans, to not do those actions. <laughs> and yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, for this entirely different, unorthodox video, but it was just so important to me that I make this. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you again for watching. Sorry for the drama, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Peace.